Pinoy pride in the world of science. Professor Percival Almoro from the UP Diliman College of Science National Institute of Physics has been appointed editor of the international scientific publication called OPTIC. It's the first time in the peer-reviewed journal's 77-year history to have a Filipino editor, and they are so lucky, actually. Dr. Almoro is with us right now here in the studio to tell us more. Good morning, Prof. Thank you for joining us. And first of all, congratulations. Uh, thank you, Paolo. What a, what a privilege, what an honor to, to be talking to you here. Prof, pag-usapan natin to, how important is, this is a really big deal, di ba? Uh, how did it happen for you and how were you chosen to become the editor of OPTIC, International Journal for Light and Electron uh, Optics? Okay, maybe uh, I'm also trying to, to process it. <laughs> it started when my a colleague from Germany mm. uh, uh, who uh, finished his stint as editor of that journal mm -hmm. recommended me. Okay. And but uh, I think it it uh, goes way back during my training, as also as a reviewer in our local uh, physics society conference. Okay. So I, I was a reviewer then. Well, nothing's more flattering than having the you know the the thumbs up of, of your peers and, and being recommended by your peers. Ano? Uh, uh Well, as researchers, uh, validation comes from the recognition of your peers. Right. Uh, Prof, uh, for those of us who may not be familiar, myself included, ito na, you need to explain to us what exactly is your field, um, you know, and, and how, uh, and how, how really important uh, this position that you're taking on, the fact that you're uh, a Filipino taking on this position. Yeah, uh, the, the, the science of uh, light mm -hmm. uh, deals with uh, investigating how light propagates mm -hmm. and how light interacts with matter. Okay. So uh, it has many applications because of the sensitivity of light when it interacts with materials. Okay, I've, I'm looking at a few images uh, on our screen, uh, the idea of holograms, sunspots. Ito, medyo, it's something my brain can grasp a little bit because you were trying to, to ease my worries about talking about the subject and you were saying, you know, actually this field is very visual and it's, it's, it's quite easy to uh, wrap your brain around it when you have, uh, you know, visuals of, yeah. of how, uh, you know, your field of yeah. photonics and, and frequency analysis and all of that becomes less uh, academic and less scientific and more something that we can relate to. Okay, right. um, what will your role be exactly as editor of this uh, journal? Okay, so uh, as editor, I will be uh, assigned uh, some manuscripts to mm -hmm. uh, look for uh, suitable reviewers. Mm -hmm. So the criteria is the competence of uh, potential reviewers mm -hmm. so that the manuscripts will be uh, uh, properly uh, reviewed and right. then uh, the final decision will be uh, assigned to me to to either reject, accept or revise the manuscript. Okay, and this is sort of, it's such a win for you uh, to, to have this prestigious position but it's also such a win for Filipino scientists. Imagine uh, scientists from a country like ours uh, a, a, a small developing country like ours at the forefront of, of scientific research. Right. Uh, I, I think it's it's all about the training mm -hmm. that uh, I acquired as a, first as a graduate student, okay, and then uh, subsequently when I was uh, when I was doing my dissertation, mm -hmm. I was privileged to work with some mentors. I would like to re uh, recognize uh, Dr. Cesar Saloma and Dr. Wilson Garcia from NIP, mm -hmm. and then also the training in the Physics Society. And then I also got a stint as editor already in the Optical Society of America. Let's talk about that, topical editor, yeah. uh, and how will that experience, and your experience obviously as professor concurrently at the UPDCSNIP, did I get that right? right? That's a bit of a mouthful. How will all of this experience really help you uh, in this endeavor? Obviously these are stepping stones towards you know, this, this, uh, this peak where you're at right. now. Uh, of course, the, the technical aspect comes from the, the, my background in my area of specialization, mm -hmm. which is about holograms. Mm -hmm. And then also the connection comes into play because I, I did my postdoc in Germany. Okay. So I think that those are elements that uh, uh, they combine. Right. And eventually, uh, one thing led to another, some maybe serendipity, and then I got this. Well, you, you're being modest. Obviously, you've put in the work and you deserve uh, everything that you've uh, been, been given. Prof, what's your advice to students who are 
interested in this field. Obviously, it, it sounds like a very high, a highly technical field, but obviously we have the capacity to, to rise to the top and, and be top of the heap, so to speak, and you're, you're proof of that. Uh, well, thank you. Uh, for the students who are considering uh, mm -hmm. STEM as, uh, for their uh, career... Uh, Eat your vegetables and uh, do your homework. <laughs> yeah, well, stay curious. Stay yeah. curious and uh, with uh, diligence and also support and guidance from mentors, mm -hmm. uh, they, they, can, they can see their, themselves as uh, scientists in, in this field. Right. I mean, there's nothing like hard work, but there's also nothing like passion and love for the field. And that, guidance. Uh, and guidance for, in the field that you're doing. And obviously, you've had uh, all of those, and are, uh, we look forward to, to you really being on top of uh, this field. Thank you so much, Prof, and congratulations once again. And thank you for joining us this morning here on New Day. Thank you.